I have a theory as to why the referees are calling these rinky-dink Mickey Mouse penalties every single night. The one-handed hooks, uh, the little love taps to the glove that get called as a slash, and you're like, wow, that's a penalty? I know I'm not the only hockey fan that is seeing this every single night. Gary Bettman, I'm on to you. We're on to you. I think there's an inside job happening in the NHL right now, whereas the referees have been mandated by the league to subtly try as call as many penalties as they can to give teams power plays and run up the score in games. The TV deal with the NHL and the NBC is done at the end of this year. It's all but certain, I think, that ESPN is going to get those rights. Uh, they had the rights from 92 to 2004 to broadcast hockey in the U.S. NBCSN already said their network is shutting down at the end of the year. Wayne Gretzky is now on Kobe Bryant's show that he created uh, called Detail. The stars have aligned for the NHL and ESPN to get back together. But the only problem, and Gary Bettman knows this, he knows, he knows that ESPN is not stupid. The problem is that in the U.S. there are uh, there are a lot of diehard hockey fans for sure, but there are also a lot of just kind of casual-ish hockey fans who are more sports fans who would only tune in if it was like high-scoring run-and-gun games. The Dallas-Tampa final in the playoffs had the lowest TV ratings for Stanley Cup final in like 10, 15 years. Gary Bettman knows that the NHL is in trouble a little bit when it comes to viewership, especially in the U.S. He's got to have as much leverage as possible when he walks into the deal room with ESPN at the end of this year to try and get as much money as possible for his league. And the way he's going to do that is by bringing a product that has uh, high-scoring games, run and gun back and forth. That's what a lot of casual American hockey fans want to see. Gary, we're on to you. I know what you're doing. This conspiracy is being exposed. But you know what? I don't even really mind because the Leafs have the number one power play in the league right now. Call away. I heard a stat last night, actually, that the Leafs have the best power play in NHL history through the first 10 games of a season. So no problem. Call them all you want. It's working out for my boys. Guys, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And have a happy Friday.